subscribe. <laughs> uh, where we at, dude? We're at the block party, bro. That's where we're at. Where do you think we're at? There ain't no other place to be on opening day. You want the politically correct answer? No. Fuck you, John Fisher. <laughs> fuck you, bro. Sell the fucking team. You're a piece of shit. You treat us like a piece of shit. Take, take the mommy and daddy's money. Go buy a few houses. Get out of the baseball. Get out of the baseball world, bro. All right, what time yeah. did you guys get here today? We got here right at 11, and we left uh, from Martinez at 10.30. Yeah, it's party time. I'm yeah, party expecting time. party time, boycotting. Yeah. Pretty, we're here for reverse boycott, so we know how packed it'll be tonight. So we're coming out. A bunch of our friends and family are going to meet us tonight, and we're going to you know, make our voices heard by not going in. I saw you got the Oakland Ballers flag. So are yeah. you going to go to Oakland Ballers? Are you going to be a hardcore Beats fan now? Or so, so yeah, of course. Well, days? are you going to go to any games, A's games at all this year? Like, We got tickets for the last home game, and that's the only game we're going to go to this year. So we already bought tickets for that game. But other than that, that'll be it for us. And then uh, we got a bunch of 12 packs already for the Bees. This is my first game in two years. Uh -huh. I'm Idaho, so I Oh, okay. Drove all the way down here to just for the game for this weekend. So I grew up coming to A's games when I was younger than him. You know, probably six or seven. My dad would take me. He's in the car over there. Uh, why are the A's so important to you guys? And why did you guys feel the need to come out here so early today? It's because they're rooted in Oakland. They're rooted in Oakland. They're uh, locally born and bred. They're not fancy, uh, high uh, corporate team. Just the simple, common folks that deserve to have a team here. I think. All right, I'm Alex Espinosa with the Ricky Henderson and YouTube here at the block party. They're probably going to open up the gates in about 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, it's about 3.50 right now. The line is getting pretty deep. Uh, I don't know if you can see this far. Look at all these all-stars right here. All-star crew right here. Look at this gang right here. <laughs> at the block party. Like, this is the greatest thing to be a national holiday. And today I'm like, yay? 
Uh, should I be excited? I'm more excited for Steven Vogt, his debut as a manager, and I haven't seen my own team play today. That is weird. I've never been that way, ever. Like, hey, this is not cool. John Fisher, that's how I feel about that. Just honestly, baseball is making such a big mistake leaving this market. This is the best baseball market. Well, you get put a good team here, you'll be fine. And uh, what's it like knowing that possibly this could be the last opening day here in Oakland? Almost gets me emotional thinking about that. Uh, I mean, that's just crazy. Yeah, I never thought in our lifetime we'd be going through this, honestly. This, this really hurts. I wanted to come out, enjoy what's happening here, not in there. I don't want to support John Fisher, what he's doing with the team. And um, yeah, it's a shame they want to go to Vegas, and I hope they don't go to Vegas, because Oakland, baby. So we joined with the Oakland 68s tonight to have a press conference because we wanted to participate in this boycott because the Fisher family, the owners of the athletics, they have been preventing East Oakland from being able to flourish and thrive. Black Party! I was not there! I wasn't there! I love 
baseball and I've stopped watching baseball. Oh, yeah. it, it's weird like that. Yeah. As an Oakland native though, how cool is it to kind of see this community oh. know, come together like the Bay Area, come together like this. It's insane. I mean like I knew this would happen though because we have teams like the Oakland Roots. We're gonna have teams like the Ballers that show how cool it is to be here, right? I, there's a reason I never left. I make friends everywhere I go because Oakland's such a great place. It really is. Am I uncomfortable in the possum suit? Yeah. I'm very comfortable. <laughs> it's you know it's in the Bay Area. It's all about wearing layers. So you know, I got I got my vest on. I have layers. I got my vest on. I got my shirt on. You know, and then I got my tummy <laughs> right here with the possum suit. Gotta keep that growing. No one's giving a crap about that. So <laughs> it's honestly, it's so weird. Yeah. It's so weird, but like we're all just partying. And you know what? This party keeps going down. You know? It's just it's all over the parking lot. It's just people hanging out. So. It's fun. It's just like really good to see people. You know, it's really good to see people and know the community is still strong, man. How we doing? How we doing? I'm doing good. such a great job of doing my job for me that they're amazing and shout out to the Oakland 68s man what an organization I wish I could be a part of something like that but instead I'm a part of new renderings I don't know if any of you have seen this but we debuted them today with the last dive bar ladies and gentlemen we're going to Mount Oh wow, this is the first look. We're, we're breaking some news here. Okay. So, we're going to be on the beach, of course. Yeah. We've got our palm trees. So, Maui or, or the Coliseum? I'm still, okay. still playing. Oh, I think Maui is the better place. <laughs> we had to pivot from the armadillo, so we went with the sea turtle retractable roof. As you can see, we've already got our ducks on the pond, because you, as you know, we never have our ducks in a row. <laughs> the seagulls followed us all the way from Oakland, just like I know all of you will. So come out to Maui. And I don't know if you know this, but I've got two tickets to paradise. <laughs> Pack your bags. We leave tonight. I, nothing, nothing better in the world. Nothing. I, I wouldn't be happier than. Could not be any happier than what it was like today. Fans fest. Any of this stuff. It just brings so much. I, that's why I bring my family out here. That's why we're out here. My whole family's still out here late because I want them to enjoy this and see this. I want them to see the appreciation that this is an example that everybody should be like. Yeah. And every fan base should, should have. And um, if it goes away, at least I can share it with some some of my family. They can see staying in Fort Wilson. I had a blast. I mean, it's a great environment to celebrate and to keep celebrating. And I feel like, once again, the spirit of the fans shown. Well, what was the final score? What happened tonight? In the game? Um, I don't know what happened. All knows we lost eight zip. The guys didn't really show up. I mean, they tried. All knows in the fourth inning, we gave up five runs out of nowhere. Alex Wood kind of had a rough go. Um, I mean, days losing hoping that we usually have a good year. So who knows? Maybe it'll happen. I doubt it, but we'll see what happens. Sell the team. Well, sell the team. No, that'd be great. We got. We tried to yell out inside the stadium. The guys 
lots of momentum. It was good. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, John Fisher and him, I mean, not going to do anything, but hopefully they heard the message at least loud and clear. And, and in the fifth inning, could you hear the car, the car horns at all? Sadly, no, not at all. It was, I don't know if it was just blocked out because like it, the, because of the concrete or what, but it was really, yeah, you, you couldn't really hear it, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I apologize. I know you guys are trying, but just <laughs> couldn't hear it that great. Yeah, and, uh, and but when was like the loudest moment in there? Was it like the fifth inning? Was that when you guys were doing the sell the team chance? Fifth or? inning, I think like it wasn't us that started, but other other parts of the stadium started to sell the team. Uh -huh. So we're like, well, I know we weren't supposed to do in the sixth inning. You guys did yeah. the fifth out here, but we just went with it, and it got it got a little vocal, got loud. So I hopefully made TV. Well, I heard they also had the crowd mic kind of piped up or putting fake noise in on TV tonight. Oh, really? That's what I've heard from on the uh, social media. So we'll see. Okay. And uh, last one, so uh, I mean, I know it was weird circumstances, but it was it still nice to go back to the right field bleachers and watch a game. It was weird not having anybody I know of mine. It's my friend Ashley next to me. A lot of people in the front row were absolute randos. It was weird. I don't know how I really felt about that. That's not, uh, not how the bleachers are supposed to be. I'm supposed to know everybody. It was really weird. Oakland, Oakland forever. Oakland forever. You, you, you will never get this in, out of any other city. I guarantee you.